together, two together. Now, I've never known you to have trouble walking. <laughs> I'm going to mess this up. What? Look at you all cute as a puppy in a tux. How could you possibly mess anything up? I can't get the walk right. Ah, I see. Well, it just so happens that I had the pleasure of being a flower girl exactly 13 times when I was a little girl. 13? Big family. <laughs> Come on. Now, I assume you're doing that count then together nonsense. Rookie mistake. You want to get this right? Follow me. Gonna find me a guy, one who looks cute in a little bow tie. Gonna get married, get married tonight and step. Wanna try again? Okay. Gonna find me a guy, one who looks cute in a little bow tie. Gonna get married, get married tonight and step. Gonna find me a guy. bestow upon you my flower girl duties. I won't let you down. There's no way you possibly could. I think Mom would have really liked her. Mom would have yelled at you for putting this off so long. Well, you think a year's too long, Bartholomew? No, but Mom would have met Jeanette and told you to book the church that weekend. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Gentlemen. Hey, Bart, great job of getting rid of the paparazzi. I can't read inside. <laughs> All right. Sentimental stuff, I know, really isn't our thing. Uh, I have never felt more uncomfortable than I do right now. I know, I know. Just, just let me get through it. Wow, it's paper. You even wrote it down. Give me a minute. Right. You know, uh, when we were young, I, uh, I thought I was going to be a big, famous country star. Then you came along. So I, uh, I thought that I would try my hand in football. And then Bart here, he came along. So I realized that I was never going to be a star. So I decided to give up. This is where you hit us? What, what's going on? <laughs> no, it was you. You showed me it wasn't about being better. It was not about us competing against each other. It was us against the world. Being brothers. <laughs> Man, what are you doing? I'm gonna go out there and my big old stupid eyes are gonna be all swollen up. <laughs> I just wanna say thank you. For being my brother. I had something made for us. Trash my first guitar? Seriously? That was my guitar. Uh, <laughs> I learned how to play on this guitar. It's symbolism. Oh. Hey, you know, if it's the same guy you hired to make these, I still have uh, my first car if you'd like to turn that into pants or something. <laughs> Billy, I am so glad you answered. Nice of you to finally stop avoiding my calls. I'm not avoiding your calls. Oh, sure you were. I have been calling you for weeks, leaving long, detailed messages. Did you not get them? They were very important. All right, just get to the point. You must look nice, all dressed up. So 
do you know I'm dressed up? Because I'm smarter than you, Billy. So what did Zane go with? A bow tie or just a tight t-shirt for the big day? Mary, don't ruin this for him. Or them. What? Ruin Zane and Jeanette's wedding day? The way that you two ruined my career? Oh, I am not even thinking about you and Zane, actually. I'm just thinking about business. We didn't ruin your career. We just gave you time to focus on other artists. Well, they voted me off the board because of you. So I figured, why not use you two to get me back in? Zane fulfilled his contract. We're out. We can't help you anymore. Oh, my sweet Billy. I think ahead. I am so kind. That I left the board of directors as a very valuable parting gift when I left. So valuable, in fact, that when they open it, they're going to have no choice but to let me back in. What did you do? I would read the fine print on Zane's old amended contract if I were you. You changed it. Now who's the smart one? OK, you're going to want to get your brother out of his fancy clothes and onto some transportation. And you better hurry. Your brother goes on in just a few hours. I'm emailing you the details right now. Mary, please, not today. Looking forward to seeing you, Billy. Okay, dokey. So everybody is almost here, even uh, Uncle Earl, which I'm going to take credit for because I told him that the wedding started in two hours. Mom, what's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. I just I can't believe it. You look so beautiful. <gasps> Do I normally look that bad? No, don't. I think that I've been so focused on making sure that this day goes perfectly that it's just hitting me now that my baby's getting married. Mom. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. We're not getting I'm sorry, this is not happening. I'm not gonna cry. <sighs> uh, hey! Jeanette, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Jeanette, we need to talk. I'm sorry. It is bad luck to see the bride before the wedding. I'm afraid I already brought the bad luck. What is it? It looks like Mary left me a trap after I left her label for Billy's. What kind of trap? Wait a second, who's, who's Mary? She's the head of Zane's old record label. Or she was. After Zane and I left to start our own, they voted her out. So what's the problem? She purposely booked me on three more shows as soon as she found out Billy was stealing me. Okay, so you play the shows, finish out the contract, and then you're done with her for good, right? She intentionally booked them over our wedding. You've got to be kidding me. How did nobody know about this before? She arranged them in secret. I just announced them last night. Zane's first show is in Ohio. Tonight. Honestly, if I didn't hate her so much, I'd admire her horribleness. Okay, no, stop. This is silly. Just explain to her that you're getting married, and, and then you'll do the shows at another time. I wish it were that easy. It is that easy. Sweetheart, this is your wedding. No, they don't care about that. Zane will be in breach of contract. He could get sued. Not to mention halting any future shows you want to play. Yeah. Look, Mary did this knowing full well that it would cripple Billy's new label. You know what? I'll figure something else out. I'll start again. I'm not going to ruin your day. Go. Are you sure? Get on the plane, play the shows. You can set it all up, right? I'm on it. It's my promise. I will have him back as soon as I can. Thank you, Chad. Good. We'll um, move the wedding to the end of the summer. No. This is insanity. You do not walk out of your own wedding. Everybody is out Mom, there waiting. This is no. It's OK. It's just a wedding. Look, you are the greatest thing that ever happened to me. You know that, right? I do. Now get on that plane. You're going to be late. So this is what's holding up the show, huh? Some pre-wedding kisses. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
bring you back to me Now all that I see is when I need you the most all I got He's getting there And yelling at me is not gonna make him travel any faster Hello everyone Hi Gotta feel this hole inside my heart Got her soul without its part It was you and me I miss the you and we I'd love to tell you that we're almost ready to start But I'm afraid something's come up Now first things first Everyone's A-OK -okay. Unfortunately We all know that life doesn't always give us everything the way we want it so, there is going to be a wedding, just not today. And I promise it's for a really good reason. All we need to know is those kids are very much in love and they're doing exactly what they need to do to start their lives together in the best way possible. When I missed you, I tried to bring you back to me. But all that I see is when I needed you the most. Hurry back so you can marry me. I wouldn't miss it for the world. about 40 minutes late, so the promoters weren't too thrilled, but we, uh, we did put on a couple extra encores for the fans, which is a pretty good show. What's going on over there? <laughs> what? No, 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 they, uh, the new label hooked me up with a real first-class new ride over to the other show. How am I possibly qualified to drive this? <laughs> hey, how are things going over there? We're good. Everyone's making the best of it. Even your mom? You're a terrible liar. Hey, did the painters ever come by and finish up at the design studio? They did. It looks great. Still a long way to go, though. I really wish I could be there to help. Well, just make it for the ribbon cutting. Hey, got everything? Yeah, I'm really sorry it didn't work out. Ah, uh, don't be sorry. Just come back in August and you can play Jeanette down the aisle then. <sighs> We're on tour for the rest of the summer. We're leaving in three weeks. Of course you are. Silly me, thinking you'd be available. <laughs> Believe me, I really wish we could. Well, thanks for trying. Now, you guys go rip up that tour, and above all else, behave yourself. Gentlemen first. Always. Give Zane and Jeanette our best, OK? You got it. Have fun. You think I could do it? Well, you know, I think you can do anything. But just so we're on the same page, what exactly is the thing you're thinking of doing? Maybe you could teach me the piano and I could play for Mom and Zane. I think that's the single best idea I've ever heard in the whole world. So you'll do it? Of course. Hold, hold again? How much longer do I have to wait? Hey, it's Mary. How can I help you? You know who this is. You never would have made anybody else wait this long. I'm sorry, who's this? Billy. Billy Gunther. 
Oh, hi, Billy. Sorry to keep you waiting. What have you been up to? Well, I've had time to review the fine print, and I see that you concealed an option in Zane's contract. Near the back, page 32. If triggered, then the talent has to stay with the label even longer. Concealed? Whoa, I wouldn't say that. I am simply trying to maximize the return on our little investment. It's the kind of thing that can get a person back on the board. That is so unprofessional. This is Zane's life we're talking about. We never agree to those terms or even discuss them. Billy? Calm down, okay? Nobody is forcing you to do anything. It's called an option for a reason. Kind of like how I didn't force you to take me out to that little Italian restaurant a couple months ago. You know what? That was a mistake. Really? It didn't feel like a mistake. Especially when we shared that second piece of tiramisu. Mary, what do you plan on doing with this option? I'm sorry, Billy, but that's going to be between you and the new head of the board. Billy. Billy. How's the husband? Uh, surprisingly good. They said Mary tried to set me up with some rookie players and sort of, uh, cherry on top. How'd you avoid that? Well, apparently they got some new guy running the show over there, some, uh... Chris Water. They said he's trying to force his option on my contract. I thought your contract was done after these shows. Yeah, me too. And that's what Mary told Billy, but surprise, surprise, she's gone back on her word. This Chris guy's in control of it now. I guess he thought giving me a good band would convince me to do whatever he wants. I'll have to swing by and see him when I get back. Well, you tell this new guy, um, Chris Water, that I didn't let you leave our wedding for his benefit. Excuse me just a minute. I think Jolene wants to say hi. You sure it's Chris Water? Uh, yes, ma'am. It says that right here on his card. You heard of him? I've heard of him. And he's not a new guy. He's an old guy. Hold on, is this, uh... Yeah. You just don't worry that cute little head of hair about it. I know exactly where to find him, too. I'm gonna set this straight for you. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Jolene. Yeah, she's already gone. So the bad news is we lost our deposit, but the good news is it's gonna cost double if we do it at the end of the summer. Maybe we should just... No. Whatever it costs, all right? I don't care. This is my fault. You do whatever you want. Hey. I really love you. Right back at you. Have a good show. I'll call you when we're on our way back. Okay, bye. You got something you want to say? What makes you think that? You always have the most to say when you're not saying anything at all. Hmm. <sighs> okay. You know I love Zane, right? I do. I just wish that the two of you could have started your lives together off on the right foot. What was I supposed to do? If I make him stay, I'm selfish. If I let him go, I lose my wedding. I know. I was gonna lose either way. It's just a matter of how much. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. You are absolutely right. You made the only choice you could. I'm sorry. I just... No more from me, all right? Anything you need. Thank you. Yeah. Mm, all right. Let's start planning a wedding. Again. <laughs> well, that there looks like another hundred dollars to me. What do you think? I can still catch up. <laughs> you know, I almost feel bad taking your money every week. Almost. Double or nothing. How can I say no to taking more of your money? <laughs> oh, come on, what is this? What's the point of paying for a private course when they let people walk all over it? Hey, excuse me, little lady. 
Yeah, this is a private golf course. You're gonna have to move your... If you don't want to eat those expensive cap teeth, I suggest you don't call me little lady or finish that sentence. I'd be careful, Tristan. She's got a pretty lethal right cross. How are you, Jolene? No. I can't say hello? No, you may not. I'm here because you're holding Zane Gunther's option. Now, he's gonna finish these three shows for you and you're gonna cut him loose. Non-negotiable. Understand? Done. Zane doesn't want my help. I wish him well. Great. Now, you can just go back to being rich and have this whole place to yourself like the spoiled little child that you are. One condition. What did I just say? You still riding? Why? Well, I got this new kid. She's real sweet. She needs a little guidance. Someone to help her get started out on the right foot. Now, I assume you're still the best. Well, then, what do you say? And if I help you, you'll let Zane go? I'll even pay you for your time. Of course you will. <laughs> So this kid, is she nice? The nicest, a real peach, and I won't even be there. Scout's on her. I'll help you for one week, then you're on your own. Got it? How can I say no to a great deal like that? <laughs> one week. I've never seen you lose a negotiation like that. Yeah, that's probably why she got so much off me in the divorce. Let's make this next shot triple or nothing, huh? I got a feeling this is going to be an expensive week for me. Stop the roughhousing here. This is a concert, not a wrestling match. Now, uh, we're here to have a party with all of our closest friends. This is country. Now, let's have a good time. Come on. Hey, you know, you know what? You almost trampled this little thing right here. Maybe we should uh, bring it up on stage, right? Come on. Come on, don't be afraid. There you go. All right. Now, you see this face? This is the face that you almost squashed. What's your name? You know, if you know your name, it'll be icing on the guilt cake. Megan? All right, Megan. And I'll tell you what. Why don't you take a seat right next to me? We'll, uh, hey, let's get her a stool. Come on, bring it out. Come on, let's give it a hand. All right. Why don't you tell me your favorite song, Megan? And uh, please say one of mine. When I could call you mine? Well, that's the least I could do. All right, guys. Let's see. Guess I had to learn the hard way. We play every single word I'd say, every talk we had, both the good and bad. But we don't want to fight like this no more, going back and forth to settle scores. Then we'd make it up, before we'd break it up. You were saying, let's just wait and see. While I watched you walk away from me 
When I lost you, I cried. When I missed you, I tried to bring you back to me. Now all that I see is when I needed you the most. All I got was the ghost of our time. Back when I could call you mine. I'm just glad that girl's okay. Yeah, me too. I didn't think someone getting stomped at one of my shows would go over so well. Wow, it's only been up for a few hours and it's already got two million views. Wow, that's fast. It's a good thing, right, Barton? It's a great thing. <laughs> Billy says several media outlets have already picked up the clip. Hey, there we go. Here. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> well, I'm glad she didn't get hurt. Pretty little thing. Now, you know, of course, there's no way I will be commenting on that young lady's looks, right? There's nothing wrong with pointing out someone's beauty. Uh, did, I, did I mention that I'm super excited about tomorrow? You guys are gonna be back in time, right? It's really important to me. It's the third most important day of my life after Queen's birth and our wedding. I know. Now, look, we got a six-hour drive ahead of us, so we'll be in late, but all I need is one cup of coffee, and I will be there cheering loudest right next to you and cut that ribbon. Wow, there's already another 5,000 views. Nice work, bro. <laughs> yeah, Billy? Baby girl. Hey, uh, shh. I have to be quiet. I don't want my mom to hear me. Got it. I'll be as quiet as possible. I saw a video online, and I think there's too many keys for you to teach me for the wedding. So maybe you could just teach me the middle ones? OK, so here's the deal. I had to leave town for a little while. But I told my daughter you'd be stopping by the house to practice. So I pre-recorded some beginner lessons for you, OK? So you start with those, and I'll be back to help you before you know it. OK, I'll get my Nana Suze to take me. But do you think that Sammy will mind if we're there? Not one little bit. And I'll be home before you can say, Jolene, my fingers are hurting. Why would I say that? Oh, you'll see. Talk later, Gwen. OK, thank you, Jolene. Anything for you. Nana Suze! What happened? Nothing. We have a mission. You do. Come on, let's go. Okay. Right behind you. Okay, but if I wear my hair up, then when I look at the photos of the opening, all I'm gonna see are my ears. Oh, come on, I love your ears. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Wait, where are you going? Ah, uh, secret mission. Anna Suze, you failed the first part of secret mission. <gasps> the secret part. Apologies. We'll be back soon. I think. OK, so I guess I'll wear the sandals. What does a professional store owning interior designer wear to her opening? Hey, hey. Yeah? I'm crazy proud of you, OK? You worked your butt off, and you deserve this. The store's going to be great. Thank you. It means a lot to me. All right, I'm going to let you go, OK, so we can get home. See you tonight? Yes, you will. Hey, the video cuts off. Did she get a peck on the cheek or just a hug at the end? Nice try. She got a firm handshake and a enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, don't worry, Billy. I'll tell him. Sorry, this video is insane. Everyone wants a piece of you. Uh, OK, OK, all right. Now I got to go. I love you. Bye. Love you, too. Bye. Billy says that Radio KBL is predicting this could come close to 5 million in the next few hours at this rate. Radio KBL said that, really? <laughs> Viola and Bear show? Rawr! Actually, they uh, just invited you on again. Well, absolutely. I love Violin Bear. Nah. Billy told me to pass. They what? wanted you for tomorrow morning to take advantage of the video. Uh, Bart, be honest with me. What do we do? We would be cutting a close get to the opening. Yeah, you're right. Except these viral videos don't happen all the time, right? 
Are you sure that's what you want? Nah, I mean, how long can an interview really take? Well, ten minutes? But you're already exhausted. Nah, come on. I'll have, uh, I'll have two coffees. You're driving. Let's go! Ooh. Sweetie, I don't think Jolene's even home. Sammy, I'll let us in. Well, do I at least get to know why we're here? Nothing personal, Nana Sue's, but it's more of a musician thing. You wouldn't understand. Oh. All right, I'll just read a book while you do your thing. Hey, Suzanne. Hey, hey. Quinn. Did you ever mention you really look like a Quinn? Your mom did a great job naming you. Thanks. Do I look like a Sammy? I don't think I look like a Sammy. I feel like I'm more of a Frank. I'm thinking of legally changing it. Come in. So here's the piano. I set up all your lessons. Mom says you have to learn pretty quick, huh? Yeah, I wanted to play for Mom and Dane at the wedding. Well, I wish I could help you, but sadly, I didn't get my mom's talents. <laughs> if you could lock up when you're done, that would be great. Sure, you're not going to stay? No, I got roped in to refereeing this full contact chess match. It's a long story. You know how it is. Sure. <laughs> Good luck, Quinn. This looks pretty complicated. I think I'll be fine. How hard could it be? Hmm. Well, I'll just sit here. <laughs> Call me if you need me. Okay, thanks. So you want to be a rock star, huh? Well, the first step is you got to prove you got the grit. So go ahead and give me your best attitude face. I'll wait. That's the attitude. Now, I think we should start with something simple, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Spoiler alert, you'll also learn how to play the alphabet song. We'll call this lesson one. I don't have enough time. I think I'm just gonna skip ahead. Whatever you think is best. Now, when we sustain, you can hear that I augment the C7 over the minor run. Go ahead. You try. Seven? I didn't know there was math in this. I think that you might be trying to run before you can walk. I know, but I have to learn. Can I give it a go? Maybe we can figure something out together. Oh. That does sound cool. I can see why you want to play this. Let me try something. You can play? I guess I can. Why didn't you say anything before? Well, I didn't want to interfere with your plans. You can teach me? I can so teach you. <laughs> OK. But if I'm teaching you, that means we're going back to Twinkle Twinkle. All right? Sit up straight. Two hands. Give him a shake. All right. Okay, that was great. Uh, I'm just gonna tinker a bit here on my end. I do not believe my eyes. <laughs> oh. oh Chris you? told me you were coming the other day. I thought he was full of it. <laughs> well, he is. But I'm here. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm great. Great. How are the girls? Oh, they're good. Uh, Madeline's going to high school. What? I know. Oh, my goodness. Mike! Mike! Oh, uh... <clears throat> Sorry, Cake. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this is Jolene. Chris sent her here to help. Uh, uh, not you, not you, of course. Uh, she's here to help me. Hi, Kate. I'm Jolene. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's cake. Did she say cake? Like the food? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it C, A, a little cake emoji, E. It's cake. <laughs> 
Hey, uh, Kate, why don't we take it from the top again so Jolene can see where she has to help? Uh, me. Okay. Me, 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 me. Ooh. Me. Ooh. Sounds really cool. Yeah, yeah, just give it a second. Everybody wants some, nobody gets some, somebody bring me some. She yeah. insisted on writing her own lyrics. <sighs> Bless her heart. Get that cake. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. So what did you think about that? Oh, um, I thought it was great. Great job. Oh, you're welcome. <gasps> Hi, Chrissy. Oh. Hi there, darling. Sounding great as always. I'm just dropping off coffee. I'm not staying. Chrissy? It's cute. Right? I thought you said this girl was a peach. She is. Just, just a touch sour. How many people did you ask for help before you came to oh, me? Oh, come on now. You know you are always my number one. Mike. All of them. Thank you, Mike. All right, look. The reason I didn't ask you is because I thought you'd say no. Well, we both agree on that. Okay, okay. Last plea, all right? Just go in there, show her how it's done. After that, you're off the hook, all right? I'll even give you the cake bonus. Uh, yeah, that's the bonus you get for working with cake. Great. Thanks again, Mike. And Zane? He'll be as free as you were the day you walked out of that divorce court. Fine. <laughs> Give me the lyrics. No, 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 no. Not that one. Give her number three. Ah. Uh, Kate, darling, we're just gonna let uh, Jolene go in there for a few minutes. Give that beautiful voice of yours a rest, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Whew, I did two in a row that time. I'm afraid this just didn't gonna work out. Now hang on, we had a deal. Okay, darling, we're gonna go ahead and find somebody else for you to work with, all right? It's whatever. <laughs> Text me, Chrissy. <sighs> I'm leaving. What do you mean you're leaving? I sang the song and you said it didn't work. No, I said it's not gonna work for her because it's your song now, right? That is, unless you don't want to have a hit song again. 
Well, I would change the bridge a bit and make it a minor key. Well, of course you would. It wouldn't be a Chris and Jolene song if you just left it the way I wrote it. And it wouldn't be a hit if I did. No argument there. No? From the top. Fine. She loves me. <laughs> and that is the latest hit from Zane Gunther, our favorite singer-songwriter here at Radio KBL, the man whose songs melt your heart, the musician of the decade, Zane Gunther, is sitting across from me. Nice to have you here. Hey, thanks for having me back. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the show. Is it because we have the cutest faces in radio? Well, I do. Well, she has the cutest face in radio. You, my friend, have a face for radio. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for those of you who have maybe hit your head or enjoy really long naps, Zane here has been all over the internet, wow. and not just for his music. Yeah, Zane, tabloids are saying you left your girl at the altar. <laughs> Is that true? No, absolutely not. Look, we, uh, we just had to postpone the wedding for a bit. A bit? So like a week or a month or 10 years? No, 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 no. Look, we have it all figured out. It's just, uh, just a little delayed, you know? Sure. Happens all the time to couples. At the altar. Yeah, all the time. Well, you heard it here first, ladies. Zane Gunther is back on the market. <laughs> ladies, you did not hear that here first. That is not true. <laughs> so you played a beautiful show for us here the other night. Yeah, and then something happened? I assume. Millions of girls trying to touch that gorgeous hair. <laughs> there. You want to touch it, don't you? You know I want to touch it. You know I'm a sucker for that. <laughs> I actually had that same style hair no, with you my didn't. toupee and you made fun of it. Oh, the, oh, the toupee. Yeah, I used to come out of pool, <laughs> shake my head. <laughs> but, but seriously, someone got trampled? Yeah, you know, the show got a little rowdy and this poor woman got knocked over. Ooh. Just between us, how hot was she? Oh, no, no. Stop! <laughs> but I will say, I saw the video and she was a very attractive woman. Look, I just wanted to make sure no one was getting hurt, okay? Ooh, nice dodge, Zane. Uh, great dodge. <laughs> Are you a boxer? Hey, Jen. Yeah, no, we're at uh, KBL Radio. Yeah, they saw the video and they asked us to come by. Right. It's a quick 15 minutes, we're on our way. No, I understand. It's a big deal. Is it going well? Uh, it's doing great. I promise we'll be there. We're out of here in 10 minutes, tops. Okay, just meet us at the store then. Quinn and I will be leaving at noon. The mayor will be there at 2 to cut the ribbon. Yeah, no problem. We'll be there with time to spare. Okay, bye. So long story long, your song is the reason why I got a kiss. Didn't know your mom was a fan of my music. <laughs> oh! Ah, there, you're a sad, sad man. Tell me something I don't know already, V. <laughs> OK, Zane, I see your boy out there pointing at his watch like a madman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you guys know I'm a huge fan of the show. However, I do have somewhere very important I need to be. OK, but first, it's time for Drop In! <laughs> <laughs> wow. So for all of you listening on the radio, we just reunited this lovely young lady. What is your name? Megan. Megan! Aww. So nice to meet you. Go on and grab a seat next to Zane. Put your uh, headphones on and get real close to the mic for me, sweetie. It's nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Oh, now Megan and Zane, I know we just sprung this on you, but... Good gravy. Don't these two make a cute couple? Look, I'm not into the mushy stuff, and even I'm a little over the moon here. <laughs> hey, look, I appreciate you saying that, but uh, I really do need to have You know what? Guy. For everyone listening, you need to hit us up online because it is time for us to play What's That Baby Gonna Look Like? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, guys, look, I, I actually really love this game, but I, I do need to head out, okay? Totally. Promise we'll make it real quick. Two seconds. Okay. I just wanted to say that I was really nervous when I first met you. Oh. And I really am just a big fan. And thank you again. 
Hey, it's uh, nothing to worry about, okay? Oh, look, a little hand-on-hand -hand action. That's a grade school marriage right there. What's the deal, Megan? You do a thing? No, we're not. <laughs> but I mean, I'm game of Zaynan. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, all of you are the worst. <laughs> Whose side are you on? And come why on. wouldn't you be? Look at how cute your baby would be. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Pretty great, although, um, look, there's someone I'm already seriously in love with, my fiance. Um, but uh, thanks again. I, uh, I really do have to go. Let's okay. do a round of likes and dislikes. You first, Megan. <laughs> Mom, can I get a snack? Sure. Hi. Hey. Where's Zane? Oh, I don't know, but I'm sure he'll be here soon. Hey. I'm so sorry. They made me turn my phone off for the interview. Where are you? Uh, we're about 15 minutes out. We're almost there. Okay. I'm really nervous. Hey. Oh, you have nothing to be nervous about. This is just the, the natural next step of your interior design greatness. Hope you're right. I guess I'm kind of excited. I've never done anything like this before, so. Oh, no. Hey, hey can, can, can you go around it? No, I'm turning cars around. What's wrong? The construction, we're completely stuck. Don't you worry, I'll be there. Go. I'll meet you there. What are you doing? Now, don't cut that ribbon without me, all right? If I run, I can make it. Zane? Zane, hello? Hello? Hey, hey, stop, stop. Hey, hey. You're gonna get some good shots today. Yay! Okay. Hi, Clark. I'm just gonna. Hi, thanks for coming. I'm just gonna... Jeanette? Hi. Thanks so much for coming down, Mayor Hartley. Of course. Always happy to help our town get a little stronger. Well, um, it's a little early, but we've got tea and coffee inside. Actually, due to some changes in the schedule, we're gonna need to move the ribbon cutting up. Oh. Okay, um, how soon? It's just that I'm waiting for Zane well, to show. Well, now would be great. Of course. Yay! Okay, come on. Here we go. I always love seeing members of our community make their dreams come true. And today it is my great pleasure to help Mrs. Jeanette Gunther on this journey. Oh, um, not Gunther. Uh, or Mrs. either. Not yet, anyway. Uh, long story. Uh, it's Williams. Jeanette Williams. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Open. Did you level up on her name while I was gone? Maybe. 
Okay, I beat your high score. Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> hey. Hey. Quinn. Can you help me take some of this stuff to the back? I am so sorry. You know, I tried to get here. I, we got stuck in that construction. I ran the rest of the way. It was... I know. It's okay. The mayor had another engagement, so she had to move this one up. Uh, look at this. Wow. Looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we had a great turnout. I already booked four consultations. Five. I'm going to need to hire you to redo the RV that Billy got us. Can you afford me? Oh, can I pay in kisses? That's a lot of kisses. What about a down payment? One down, 9,999 to go. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Where are you going? Well, the sooner I get this cleaned up, the sooner we can go to Bella's. We made us a reservation for tonight. OK. Did you practice? Twice while she was in the shower. Perfect. OK, let's continue. Uh-uh-uh, nice straight back. I don't get that part. Why do I have to have a straight back if, when I'm leaning over, I can just reach the keys better? Seriously? This is how you want to spend your time? Thank you. All right, let's warm up those fingers. Can you play me a C scale in the right hand? Yes. Go. What? What? That is amazing! That is a million times better already! <laughs> okay, you seriously need a challenge. Can you play start on the C again? Skip up to the E, skip up to the G, all the way to the top, C, and then back down. Nice and slow and gentle. Try that. Okay. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. What's the matter, Peanut? Do you think it's okay if I call Zane dad? I think he would love that. But is that something that you want to do? Well, I don't really remember my dad. But sometimes I see him in, like, dreams and things like that. Do you think he'd mind? I'll tell you something. I remember your father very well. And I am here to say that he loved you a lot. But so does Zane. And I think that having two people that love you that much is pretty OK. <laughs> and I'm absolutely positive that your father would agree. He'd like that. Yeah. Yeah, he'd be happy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try that arpeggio again. OK. Please follow me right this way. Here's your table. Thank you. You're welcome. Sweet over here. And I just really like to say, Mr. Gunther, that I'm a really big fan. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Enjoy your dinner. So. How was the show? No, no, no show talk. I want to hear about everything I missed today. OK, well, uh, the opening was good. Mayor Hartley came out. She messed up my name, which was a good start. <laughs> You're kidding. No, she called me Mrs. Gunther. Ah, uh, well, you got to be. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, I managed to move everything to the end of August. So we should be able to oh. get it. Hi. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to interrupt your dinner. Zane, I just want to say I'm your hugest fan. I saw you at the amphitheater upstate, and then again in New York. We did the back-to-back. -back, so it was like I was really there with you. <laughs> well, that's very kind of you to say. Uh, your sweetheart. <laughs> I don't know how you handle so much attention. Oh. After seeing that cute girl from the concert, again, on viola and bear. Oh. <laughs> Must have missed that. And then when I saw what your baby would look like with that girl, I tell you what, I was just you know, like. You know, here, here you go. 
Thanks for saying hi. Of course. Enjoy your meal. They brought the girl from the video onto the radio show? They just sprung her on me. It's a radio show. They do crazy stuff like that. I'm not upset. I'm just surprised it didn't come up. Look, it's just the way it works, OK? They, they get more thumbs up or whatever if they make a story where there isn't one, you know? Yeah, I get it. Uh, anyway, where was I? Uh, we got lucky. The hall had a cancellation on the 29th of August. Um, I know that's not very much time, but I think it will be enough to let everyone know. What? I got asked to co-headline the Midnight at the Peaks Benefit concert. Oh. That's incredible, right? That's, that's huge for you. Yeah, I want to bring you and Quinn with me. Uh, no, I, I can't. I just opened up the store, I can't take time off. Yeah, we talked I, about that, right? I know, I know, I did, right. I, there's no other day that works. Like, we call somebody, we can see if... No, uh, there's nothing. It's all booked until the end of the year. It's too late. Yeah. Okay, Zane. We are your biggest fans. Well, me way more than them. I'm getting married next week. Could we get a pic? It's, it's actually not a really good time. Uh, no, it's, it's fine. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. I love all your songs. I know all the words. <laughs> and maybe one on, on Tula's phone and Monica's too. Thank you so much. Can't have too many pictures with Zane. You're so strong. You know this story, this, this girl isn't anything, right? It's just publicity. Is this our life now? What do you mean? Cameras, living in the public eye. You having second thoughts? No, I love you. But I thought all you wanted was a family. Well, that hasn't changed. You and Quinn are all I want. I'm just going to call and get them to cancel the haul for the 29th. I can say no. No. You should ride this wave. I've just opened up the store. We didn't plan it, but it's complicated. We'll just aim for a spring wedding. Maybe you're right. Should I come in? Say goodnight to Gwen. She's probably asleep. See you in the morning. Of course. Um. No, I, I'll be here, uh, but I got invited to play the night show. They're flying me out at two. That's great. I, they, they called just before dinner. Um, I guess the person they booked had some family emergency, so they're asking me to step in last minute. I was trying to find the right time to tell you. Bring breakfast. Maybe we can take Quinn to the park. Sure. Let's go.
How you doing, big guy? Billy, this is too much. Too much? Give me a clue. The signings, the, the, the appearances, the interviews, the, the, the paparazzi, all of it. Hey, I know it's hard, but the bigger your career gets, the more people want to get to know you. I know. Look, Jeanette and I are used to a certain amount of this, but... It's just been extra hard, trying to, trying to reschedule the wedding and, and, you know, she's trying to open up her stores. I can't do it anymore. I know. Hey, let me make a few phone calls. I promise you and Jeanette are gonna have your day. All right. I'll talk to you there. Thanks. Aren't you about to go on stage? Ah, oh, we're on a commercial break. What, are you nervous? No. Look, I'm working on something. I need your help. <laughs> Great! The jingle guy just quit and the big wigs are on their way up. <sighs> Where am I gonna find someone to sing the Mr. Hair to Stay jingle? Hey, you, <clears throat> janitor? <laughs> Ever do any singing? Well, does the shower count? Guess we're about to find out. <laughs> well, how's he doing? Oh, cute as a button. Look at this. It was prayer to will come for you. Call this number today and your hair to stay. <laughs> Song boy, let me see this. You know what? I don't even need it. You know. I may try to hang on to that contract after all. You know I'll kill you, right? You know I do believe you would. Hmm. <laughs> well, here's to letting good things slip away. I'm sure you'll find another big star. We both know that's not what I meant. Well, we were young and dumb. <laughs> and way too successful to try to be controlled. Neither one of us knew what we were doing. It wasn't all bad, though. I'm just glad you're a better father than a husband. Yeah, that was easy. Kids always liked me. <laughs> you helped me learn some really important lessons. Yeah, you're better than me. I had to learn them two more times. <laughs> you want to hear the latest mix? Of course. Come on, baby, give it one more try. Remember all the good times, the fine wine. Seems so long ago, hanging on forever together. Never wow. Let go. Sounds really good. Nothing lasts forever, but you a sound really you good. Know. Thank you. I, uh, I gotta confess, I asked you to sing on this one because I kind of wrote it about you. After all these years, you wrote a song about me? No, I, uh, I write all of them about you. Look, I know. I did everything wrong. You know what? It's late. And if I'm being honest all the way around about this, I'm not ready to have this conversation. No, oh, I completely understand. 
Sorry. No, 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 it's okay. But I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go. Can I see you again? I don't know how to answer that. The concert was lit. It's always lit when my Zany performs because he lights up the stage, don't you, Puna? Well, uh, that's very kind of you to say, Megan. Uh, <laughs> Oh, okay, thank you. I I'm gonna get back to you now, okay? Whoa, whoa. Man, I've suddenly fallen again. Well, we try to finish the. Never. Um. Yeah. So. Hey, I thought the show was live. Yeah, it is, but there's a delay. You must be watching the last sketch. <laughs> Call me crazy, but I think this guy has a crush on you. Yeah, he uh. He keeps inviting me to go bowling. I have no idea why. I do not understand these people. Did you have fun? Yeah, I did, but... I am so glad it's over. I just want to get home to you and Quinn. Good job, man. Sounds like quite the celebration over there. What was that? I said it sounds like you're having fun. They're all very nice, yes. I'll see you tomorrow. Billy booked me for the signing in a mall. Can you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. Jeanette, can you hear me? I said I heard you. I'm trying to be quiet. Quinn's asleep. Okay. All right, I love you too. I gotta go. Okay, bye. Love you too. Okay. Zane? Hello? People want to meet you. Okay, let's do it. You okay? I heard you yelling. I was just talking to Zane. It's loud where he works. Can I sleep with you tonight? You know what? I think I'd like that very much. <laughs> Little late, isn't he, young lady? Sitting in the dark like a maniac. You scared me to death. Bad night. Yeah. Well, maybe. I don't know. Let me guess. You met up with Dad, and that stirred up a bunch of old feelings you didn't even know you had, and now you don't know how to feel? No. How'd you know? Because I'm psychic, we've spoken about my gift many times. And Dad called half an hour ago. <laughs> what do I do? Well, I get us a bottle of wine, and then we spend the night like cliche mother-daughter duos that we both can't stand. I'm in. <laughs> I'll get the glasses. I'll get the wine. What do you think? <laughs> All right. Zane, Zane, can I have your autograph? Sure, sure. Zane, here Thanks. you go. Sweet. So, I, it's not really my element, but, uh, wow. Goodbye, pal. Again. Again? I heard you were here. I couldn't pass up a good party. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> hey, could you get a photo of us? Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Sure. <laughs> All right. One more. 
Uh, uh, okay, all right. I, I really do have to go. It's great to see you again. Thank you. You rock. See you, buddy. Hey. Uh, I hate to say this, but uh, I think he's in love with someone else. <sighs> you want to meet the cast? Yeah, sure. Oh, hey, Jolene. Hey. When did you get back? Oh, late last night. What are you up to? Oh, just headed to the bakery. Of course, the wedding. So what kind did you go with? And did they give you a discount? Because I can talk to them. <laughs> I'm actually just going to put a hold on the cake. Oh. It's nothing bad. It's just with the incredible fortune that Zane's had with his music lately and me opening up the store, we decided to pump the brakes a little. Well, I guess that makes sense. Although I know this is making Zane miserable. Are you all right? Come here. Oh my gosh. I barely talk to him, and I see him on TV surrounded by all these beautiful women. As long as I've known Zane, he is a good and honorable man. Now you know that. For sure I do. Mm -hmm. But what if he loves this attention more than he loves me? You know, maybe I'm holding him back. You listen to me. Zane loves you, and he wants to marry you as soon as this wedding can be arranged. You know what? You need cheesecake. <laughs> Let's go get some. Mary, this is lower than low. <laughs> is that any way to greet an old friend? Well, it was actually being nice, considering what you put us through. If it wasn't for Jolene. How is Jolene? You know, I've always liked her. Beautiful voice, very professional, unlike some people. Jolene's fabulous. Actually, she works miracles because she found a way to get Zane out of that crappy little option you rigged in his contract. Did she? Yeah, she actually likes people. Oh, that is so sweet. I think I'm gonna cry. Mary, you need to stop messing with people's lives. Do you even know how many young artists that I have coming to me because they're tired of big labels using and exploiting them? I thought you had the stomach for this industry. Apparently, I was wrong. Yeah, well, being tough can only take you so far, Mary. You are so naive. You know what? When I find young artists, I like to let them know that they're taken care of. But you show them no respect. You don't even give them the ability to develop their talents. Develop their talents? Do you hear yourself? That is a bunch of artsy-fartsy, touchy-feely nonsense. But that's not how it used to be. When I first started working with you, you wanted to be about nurturing the talent. Show the singer how to find their voice, help the musician get their muse. That was another time. So what now? You want to break them? Just use them? You want to force a young couple to walk away from their wedding day? I am good at what I do because I make money. No, you used to be good at making music. It was always easier with you at my side. Back on the board again. They called me this morning. What are you gonna do? I am going to nurture talented young artists into the biggest stars this world has ever seen. I look forward to working with you in the future. On one condition. What's that? You let me take you for tiramisu. No more autographs. It has to be twice as many as last time, right? Woo! At least. <laughs> I'm torn. As your brother, I'm telling you, you need to go home. See your family. And how are you torn? Because I know that Billy's only giving you half the work that's coming in. This is your moment. Your star is rising, even bigger than before. And you can't always see that as your professional star rises, that you neglect your personal life. Jeanette, 
Quinn, Billy and I have seen other artists go through this. It tears people apart. <laughs> well, Jeanette and I don't plan on being like those other people, so. Nobody plans on ending up like other people. Well, what do you want me to do? I mean, like you said, my star is rising, right? Gotta make hay while the sun is shining. Oh, but things have been so good lately at home with Jeanette. <laughs> Quinn. I know. <laughs> Believe me, I know you. I love you. You've got a serious offer on the table. How serious? Life changing. Billy says he's going to talk to you about it on Monday. Well, I can't wait till Monday. <laughs> what a tease. Well, what's the offer? What? Tabloids are breaking a story about you and Megan. You're together. What? Oh, you are looking cozy. You. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a bit much. What on earth are you drinking, man? Oh, come on, we're not together. I would never do anything with that woman. You know I would never cheat on Jeanette. I know. The photos do not know. And they quote you. The engagement is off. Nobody ever asked me for a quote. You know, they're being creative, as always. <sighs> Lord. Okay, I need to call Jeanette. No, I'm not releasing for a few hours. We can get you home. Tough conversations are always better face to face. <sighs> I wouldn't blame her if she wanted to throw that ring right back in my face. Jolene's, per your odd instructions. So what are we doing here? Trying to make things right. Started getting out of the driveway. Finally, I had to tell them they were keeping a little girl from her best friend's birthday party. And here we are. Here we are. All right, Quinn, come on. Let's go see if we can find Jolene. Hmm? Hey. Hey. Thought if we met here, we could avoid the photographers. Fuck these tabloids, these photos. They're all made up. I never said the engagement was off, and this. This Megan girl means absolutely nothing to me. You have to believe me. I love you. And only you. Of course I believe you. You do? Yes. I have to admit that seeing those photos hurt, but I could tell which ones were fake. I'm never going to believe a tabloid over you. So we're OK? You're not going to dump me? You know I want to spend the rest of my life with you, right? I want that, too. But why didn't you just call and talk to me about it? I wanted to wait to talk to you in person. I figured I'd get back before the, the photos were released, so... In person's nice. I promise to always talk with you. Even when it's tough. I missed you so much. Oh, not half as much as I missed you. No, wait. Why are we at Jolene's house? You promised me a quiet night at home, just the three of us. True, but there's something else I promise you, too. 
Come on, let's go find Quinn first. Zane. I just added some elbow grease and called in a few favors. I like helping you. Which I greatly appreciate. It. Are you ready, Jeanette? Everything's good to go. Is this real? You better believe it. Well, alrighty then. Boys in the barn, girls come with me. Get out here. Oh. Ah, you did it. Oh. Let's do this. <laughs> Jolene, thank you again for making this happen. I, I don't know how you did it. Thank you. Did you forget the rings? I, I thought you had them. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, one sec. Bill Lean's instructions. I didn't know you knew how to play. I don't. Oh. Mom? Zane? I hope you like your present. Ladies and gentlemen, our faith has brought us here today to join two beautiful souls as one. Just looking around, I can see that this bride and groom is blessed with a bounty of friends and family to help support them and guide them through their union. Jeanette, do you take Zane to be your lawfully wedded husband in sickness and in health to have and to hold from this day forward? Do. And Zane, do you take Jeanette to be your lawfully wedded wife 
in sickness and in health to have and to hold from this day forward? Yes, but, but wait. Uh, <laughs> Quinn, come, come here. All I ever wanted was family. And I can't think of a better way to start my family than to call you my daughter. If it's all right with you, it will make me the proudest man in the world. You will let me be your father. I would love to be your family, Dad. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, all three of us are ready now. <laughs> then do you, Zane, take Jeanette to be your lawfully wedded? I, I, I do, absolutely. <laughs> I do. Then I now pronounce you husband and wife. Come on. Get in here. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. and Mrs. Zane and Jeanette Gundy. All right, guys, let's give them something nice and slow to dance to so Zane doesn't mess it up. Sammy, I don't know how your eyes are still in their sockets with all these cute single men in the room. Don't start. It's a nice night. Who's starting? Maybe you should just focus on your own man troubles. Please. Told you I'm too old for that silliness. Is that why that's the third time that you've looked over at Dad since he purposely stood in your eye line while watching the first dance? Help me put my hands in the chocolate fountain. Um, yes. <laughs> so, what do you think? Will you humor me? These shoes cost a fortune. So don't step on them. I think we both know I can't promise that. If I agree, you promise to stop sucking in your gut? I thought I could hold out. This song is long. <laughs> it's just hard. I can't just toss out everything that happened. Yeah, believe me, I know. Man, I was ruined both our lives. Believe me. And the day goes by, I don't wake up and realize I ruined the best thing I ever had. Chris. Just take me back for a few dances, all right? Because if you can do that, I swear you'll give me enough to keep me going for the rest of my life. Why do you have to be so cute? I smell good, too. <clears throat> Lord help me. I did notice that. Uh, 
there's the groom. Oh, man, we did it. Talking about you did it. <laughs> oh, come on. I couldn't have done it without your help. Sure you could have. Oh, really? Thank you for everything you did for me. I can't imagine how difficult it must have been dealing with Mary. Ugh, that was nothing. She finally realized how unfair she was being. Mm. You know, you seem particularly happy today. I am. For you and Jeanette. Mm. <laughs> you sure? Because I've, uh, I've seen this kind of happy before. It's something else. What are you talking about? I'm happy you and Jeanette finally got married. Okay. All right, all right. Reconnected with an old friend. <laughs> That's it, in the story. <laughs> all right, there it is. <laughs> oh, I got something for you. Going through some old things, and uh, apparently someone trashed your guitar. You said this was yours. Sad, I was just borrowing it from my big brother until I got my own. <laughs> Man, I haven't played in years. Now, I got some new tuning pegs on it. Maybe we can play together sometime. Thanks, little brother. Hey. Thank you. She's a beaut. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. So is your wife. Hey, there she is. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. All right, Zane, how about you get up here and play something for your wife? Oh, come on. Go for it. All right. Get out there. <laughs> come here, sister. Cheers to a beautiful wedding. Cheers. That was so much fun, but I have a question. Little brother or little sister? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> Guess I had to learn the hard way. We play every single word I'd say, every talk we had, both the good and bad. But we don't want to fight like this no more, going back and forth to settle scores. Then we'd make it up before we'd break it up. You were sagging, let's just wait and see. While I watched you walk away from me When I lost you, I cried When I missed you, I tried To bring you back to me Now all that I see Is when I needed you the most All I got was the ghost of our time Back when I could call you mine Gotta feel this hole inside my heart Got her soul without its part It was you and me I miss the you and we You keep begging to let me go I keep trying but failing so many times Oh, the many times You were saying, let's just wait and see When I lost you, I cried When I missed you, I tried To bring you back to me But all that I see Is when I needed you the most All I got was the ghost of our time Back when I could call you
When I lost you, I cried. When I missed you, I tried to bring you back to me. But all that I see is when I needed you the most. All I got was a ghost of our time. 